Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to update and read from a file. Um, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to delete from a file and I um, briefly went through how to write to a file. Um, in the update functionality, you're going to use the basic same concept as this one and yeah so I'm just gonna copy and paste it and we're just we're just gonna tweak it a little bit so it's not much difference um, we're gonna add first thing we rename it um, update uh, let's say to file and we're gonna add um, a other string parameter which is our string that we're going to update with so string um, update okay call that update and we're going to loop through the list if um, if the elements in the in the array list match with our searched we want to update it okay so basically we're going to delete this one here and we're going to go list dot set i which is the index which is found it's going to get this one and we're going to pass in update so it's going to set the element to update and we're going to write to the file again okay so the best way to test this is out let's just go here quickly update to file and we've got list let's say we're searching for Ishmael um, let me see because it's case sensitive Z so D and we're going to update it with Ishmael is awesome I know that's a bit cheesy um, and let's run that real quick so here we see that um, I put a um, a log that prints out the list and before it does the computation and we got Ishmael's ID and afterwards it updates it and we can see it in the file um, we got Ishmael's ID um, Ishmael is awesome sorry <laughs> and yeah so that's it for updating you're basically going to use a similar uh, method uh, of the delete and you're just going to use this one set the index of i and you're going to update it with that element okay so yeah that's for updating and let's go to reading so for reading we're going to go public static void read to file okay um read from file actually all right and we're going to pass in an array list array list and it's going to take a um, string if you want to add multiple data types you change this to object okay in my case I'm using strings so I kept that scope very very limited okay so what we're going to do is create a try and catch catch and we're going to go IO exception E and let's go E get stack trace semicolon and uh, let's go buffered reader reader we're going to create a buffered reader obviously and new file reader okay and specify your file path which is going to be in my case my write.txt which is in my project and yeah okay so right now I'm gonna create a string which is empty that this string is going to be used for storing everything that's in the line so we go string uh, let's say line equals nothing okay and we want to make sure we loop let's say if there's a space we don't want to get that to our list so we're gonna create a while loop and while now and a line equals reader dot read line which means that it would be a read line does not equal null means that there's no empty gaps or anything then we want to go list dot add line okay we're going to add everything in the line all right so let's go here and lastly we close our file close it and let's go control shift f to fix up everything and okay let's just remove these and remove that and let's just call in the read list okay and let's print out everything in the list by going 
that's why so control space list dot to string okay and let's see if it gets it yes it gets everything in the list and we can add more just to make sure it works Brazil France England London Chelsea um, Ishmael YouTube all that stuff okay and we save that file and let's run it again and we get all the contents of the file okay so that's it for this tutorial and the, and the code will be provided uh, in the description and thanks a lot and stay tuned guys